UCV supports several types of fiducials. In general, fiducials have many uses, such as pose estimization, providing an easy to identify visual landmark, or encoding several bytes of information, like a website address. What you're seeing now is a square fiducial that encodes a binary pattern inside of a black square. These are typically used for pose estimization and were first popularized for use in augmented reality. The rendered colorful half cube that you see is a visualization of the estimated pose. If the pose estimate was incorrect, you would easily see a difference between the cube and the square. The stability that you see was achieved through various techniques. For example, a subpixel estimate of the line is computed using a grayscale image instead of a binary image like many other libraries do. The numbers inside of each square represents an encoded ID number. How many unique ID numbers is determined by the size of a grid. In this case, it's a 4x4 grid, which encodes 12 bits of information, for a total of 4,096 unique patterns. Boost CV supports grids from 3x3 to 8x8, which means at most you can encode up to 60 bits of data, which is a very large number. You can also adjust the black border for your application. Next up are square image fiducials. These are the same type of fiducial used in the popular AR toolkit library. Inside you can encode an arbitrary pattern. However, you need to be careful to make sure that the pattern you choose can have its orientation uniquely resolved. Those bars on the top left, which I've not mentioned so far, are visualizations of the estimated location and orientation instability. Bar height is relative for each video, and higher the bar, the less stable the estimate is. When viewed head-on, small changes in the line's estimated location can result in large pose errors. The targets farther away are also harder to localize correctly, which you can see in this video when the cube starts to shimmer when it's at a distance. This ability to provide a relative estimate of the pose accuracy, I believe, is a unique feature of Boost CV. You can use this to help position a fiducial for maximum accuracy or weigh um, a pose estimate. UCV also provides several fiducials intended for calibration. It's possible to estimate the pose from these fiducials too. Just need to be careful since for some configurations you can't uniquely resolve the orientation, causing it to jump around. For various reasons, these fiducials can often provide a better pose estimate than the square ones previously discussed, but the pose estimates quality tends to decay more rapidly at distance and with acute angles. While there's still room for improvement, effort has been put into creating stable detectors capable of working across a range of distances and orientation. What you're seeing now are a few images from Boost CV's regression test suite. From these images, a wide range of performance metrics are computed from hand label points and known geometric configurations. In total, over 4,000 images are used to test the correctness of Boost CV's fiducial detection algorithms.